All right, then. Welcome back, boxing fans. So in case you haven't heard, Mr. Conor Ben is fighting tomorrow, Saturday the 23rd. And I know your most likely question is going to be, how did this happen? I thought he was still banned by the British Boxing Board of Control. Yeah, I know. But anyway, Ben is boxing, but on this side of the pond, he'll be fighting in Florida, to be exact. I don't know about you, but I have to admit, there's something suspect about Conor Ben's hastily announced fight four days before the event. Yeah. No pre-fight buildups, no hyping, nothing. This, to me, is an under-the-radar fight. Let me explain. In certain states, it's easier to get a boxing license than others. Certain straight states are more strict. Everything's got to be up and up and tight. Certain states, they're a bit more laxed and loose on things. And, um, you know, boxers that can't get a fight in state A can always go to state B where it's a lot easier to get a license and fight. But still fresh in the memories are his positive drug tests for a banned performance enhancing drugs. And we're talking not too long ago. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but as I speak, Ben has not fully resolved his issues with the British authorities, also known as the British Boxing Board of Control. And if anything, man, if you're going to have a rule you can't box because of some infraction, that should be throughout globally in the entire world and universe. Or what's the use of having a band? in the UK when said fighter can come to America and continue business as usual. It's kind of a slap in the face to the British boxing authorities, I believe. So anyway, Mr. Ben can't get a boxing license in his home country, which automatically prompts this question. Is Connor Ben truly cleared to box? And yes, like I said, he is in Florida to be exact. But to me, if a man can't fight on his own home turf, you know, his own backyard, is he truly clear to box? No, I don't think so. But unfortunately, for some maybe, the answer is yes. In Florida, he is as previously stated, Ben was licensed by the Florida Athletic Commission after the ABC Association of Boxing Commissions, which is a national nonprofit organization, removed him from the national suspension list, which then allowed Ben to obtain a Florida license, apparently disregarding the British Boxing Board of Control banishment of Ben. I wonder if palms were greased to make this happen. Disregard that, though. That was just me thinking out loud a little bit. Funny thing is that there was no rumors and talks about Ben fighting so soon on this card. On my radar, anyway. Last word I heard was they were attempting to uh, work out the Ben versus Eubank Jr. fight for December. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Ben versus Rodolfo Orozco announced four days before the fight. There must have been a lot of behind-the-scenes moves being made with great haste, one would assume, right? And yes, one would have assumed correctly. Here's what went down in a nutshell. Matchroom Boxing hit up the Florida Commission about Ben fighting on Saturday's card. Florida's commission responded back positively. A few minor details were worked out, and the rest is history. We have a fight. But Ben was not completely off the hooks. He had to submit a negative drug test prior, which he provided. Ben also is required to submit yet another negative pre-fight test, followed by post-fight testing. Let's see if he comes back clean or not, Florida or not, he still has to be clean. And I think they're going to be keeping a real close eye on him for obvious reasons. According to Eddie Hearn, this is what he had to say. 
bends back and he's looking forward to seeing him pick up where he left off. Hearn also said Connor is looking unbelievable in the gym and he cannot wait to see him back in the ring where he belongs. He's ready to go straight in for a big fight. <laughs> well, I see. I guess the biggest fight we can get is a relatively unknown fighter. But anyway, call it a warm up, tune up, maybe testing the waters to check his performance without the enhancing drugs anyway. But one thing about Eddie, like him or not, you have to admit he is behind his fighters 100% if he believes in them. That's a good promoter. From the representation of his fighters aspects anyway. Orozco, 32, 3 and 3, 24 KOs, 24 year old from Mexico. He takes a step up in competition, quite obviously. First time fighting outside of Mexico. Orozco said he has been preparing for this moment his entire life. I really hope he has been preparing for this moment his entire life because I'm sure Connor Ben has and will be bringing 17 months of anger and frustration with him into the ring this Saturday. You know, if this fight follows the script, Ben is expected to blast Orozco out as soon as possible. But, let's say for whatever reason, Orozco gets an upper hand and things sway his way. I would not be surprised. <laughs> anyway, Connor Ben back in the ring tomorrow, Saturday the 23rd in Florida. Let's see what happens.